And developing tonight, crews say they just removed more than 200,000 pounds of trash from homeless encampments along I-5 in Seattle's University District. The camps had more than two dozen people living near the freeway. They were the source of serious safety concerns for people living in the neighborhood there. Earlier this month, a man was shot while walking past that encampment. Como's Jeremy Harris is live tonight with this Project Seattle report near I-5 and 50th Street. And Jeremy, that site has been secured now. Well, that's right, Eric, and you can actually see the fencing that's gone up and so have the no trespass signs. Today, Governor Inslee came to this site to say the state needs more money to keep encampments like this from coming back. I think it's important to the heart and well-being of the state. Today, Governor Jay Inslee touring the site with state workers who just spent weeks clearing out large encampments from along I-5 in North Seattle. If you drive up and down the I-5 corridor now, you're going to see a lot less homelessness than you did in a year ago. This area has a history of large and at times dangerous encampments, including under the nearby Ship Canal Bridge that was cleared last year and remains clear. Like the Ship Canal site, there was outreach and then enforcement here. How do you make sure that folks are moved out of this environment don't end up back on the side of a freeway? So our goal is to really get folks into a way of life where they can sustain themselves and be safely housed. We've now sheltered now to house over a thousand people. Inslee is asking the legislature for $100 million in new funding to keep the freeway homeless initiative going. Here in Seattle, leaders have signaled the city is at capacity for homeless services and they want other cities to start putting in more shelters and services. We have got to site these facilities. Inslee says he agrees Seattle shouldn't bear the brunt of the homeless crisis for the region or the state. We need all communities to pitch in here. This is a statewide homelessness crisis. Everyone's got to pitch in. Every city, every suburb, big, little, small, north and south. So there were about 30 people who were living in these encampments. They tell us 28 of those accepted offers of services and are now being helped. The governor says he needs about $100 million. He says he's not satisfied with the proposals from the House and the Senate and their budget proposals, and he'll be asking them for more money to deal with the freeway homelessness issue in the next few weeks. Reporting live in Seattle, Jeremy Harris, Como News.